hands on workshop on balcony solar systems. And sorry for that, I will use this abbreviation later on, PSSS. Very important for us, we are independent. We, are not, we, we don't belong to any profession. We are politically independent, and this is what in many other countries is different. When you have such an NGO, sometimes the political party is behind that. We don't have that. It has become incredibly cheap. Now the, the plants without a battery, they cost around 400 euro. <coughs> and with our electricity price, which is now roughly, roughly 30 cents per kilowatt hour, you have the money back within two to three years. And next thing is, it's a very positive activity. Ah, all those climate fighting activities like driving less, eating less, consuming less. This is so boring. It's so much more fun to install a PSS. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very positive thing. Yeah? You can feel very good about that. And these systems, they usually come with an app today. Uh, this, is, uh, yeah, this is the number I just showed you. Uh, and have a look at that private <coughs> installed on the roof in Bonn. We have 4,400 and com uh, companies that installed uh, systems on the new 480 produce electricity. Well, you, I will make some examples. And you can use electricity from the battery according to your personal needs. However limited is 800 watts you feed into your household grid. Some of the systems, you can see it later on, can be used as a small off-grid system, or you can basically use it as a standalone battery. The batteries are rather costly. The cheapest one they start around 600, oh, with 600 mm -hmm. euro per kilowatt. A complete set, minimum price. This is the one Aldi is selling at the moment for 1,300. And classical inverters, we have three different battery systems. So you, you can choose what you want to install. You can choose different things at different stations. Right? Um, so here's everything that you need. You can just grab it and go to the station. Okay? So let's go around the stations and we just start here. This is a classical part of the roof. Yeah? Um, this is just two square meters. You know, typically the roof is um, larger. Um, as Joachim said, typically a balcony solar system is not installed on a roof, but different people do it if, if they have a massive wall. Yeah? And how do you install uh, things on a massive wall? You cannot just hook it there. Um, you really have to fix it uh, in the material. And this is the second station, so you will install one photovoltaic panel um, in the front of your balcony wall. Okay? Stones, they have these grids. And this is a very, and this is where the naming comes from, Balkonkachel, the balcony solar systems. Um, this is the initial installation where these, um, where these devices got famous, yeah? Um, because it is very easy to install, you just hook things, you just mount, mount the solar panel, you just heat it, yeah? That's not possible on, on, the, on the other model. Um, you can do it here. Uh, we have two sides, so you can do two different installations. You can do it either flat or vertical. Yeah. Just one panel, um, mount just one panel to these um, aluminium rails and then just to stand wherever you want, you want it to be standing. And station number five is in the middle. And this is the biggest installation. That will be, will be the guy for this. This is a typical installation for a garage and a car park. This is a four panel installation. You have to take two, otherwise you it's not fixed. Hier in der Mühlenbachhalle in Bonn-Villig-Mühldorf 
And this is our first international workshop, hands-on workshop, how to install balcony solar systems. You see here more than 10 persons installing different, in different ways, uh, photovoltaic systems. And we have here five stations where everybody can install PV panels, inverters and even batteries. So all of us, we all have great fun and we all hope that at the end of the day we can do this in our sleep. So what we are doing today is a training workshop for balcony scouts which are people that are um, intended to help other people installing their balcony solar devices. And we have arranged uh, five different stations for our trainees today. What you see here is a model of a balcony with a wall, a stone wall or a concrete wall where you have to mount the rails and then you have to mount the photovoltaic module on the, rain, on, the, on the rails. The second station is also a balcony station, but uh, it, is not, it is not a massive wall here, but we have a balcony with a rail, with a classical rail, that's where the name comes from, balcony solar systems. And people here are connecting the solar modules to these rails either with an angel or with a vertical installation. So we go to the next station. This here is a classical flat roof installation. So uh, we have a mounting system which is connected to the solar module and then the solar module can be positioned either on a flat roof or on a, on a terrace or on a garden wherever you want, wherever you have a flat area. Station number four is a classical roof installation. So a solid roof as you have it on, on the top of the houses. Here you have to install the hooks um, the steel hooks first and afterwards uh, the rails are installed and then the solar module is positioned on top of the rails and on top of the roof. And the final station which we have, which is uh, not used at the moment, but I can show it on a picture. This is an installation of four solar modules, which is a typical installation for a garage or a car. Okay, so right now we're disassembling this uh, construction um, for flat roof PV systems. Yeah, it's currently uh, installed in a 15 degree angle, so we have those um, aluminium um, things at the bottom there. So you screw it together with those small parts here, yeah. and then you screw them together, you uh, check that it's tight and that it's uh, safe to install. So probably that's used for east-west installations on uh, yeah, flat roofs or garages or whatever. And um, yeah, he currently is disassembling it. Um, have, have you done that before? Uh, you are a student from Cologne? No, uh, not current. Not we have not done that before. Yeah, it's we're happy to be here at the workshop from Bürgerverein Wiedisch Mühldorf and uh, yeah, to try to get the hands-on experience um, with this PV workshop. Where are your colleagues coming from? from which um, my colleague here, who's currently disassembling, that is from Venezuela, <laughs> and the rest is from all around the world, actually. So. <laughs> well, it was not that difficult. Uh, we have a class from photovoltaics, so people is really enthusiastic about this kind of workshops. How many so, students are in your class? Uh, in my class, in total, it's like f it was 15, 20, something like that. Yes. Do you think when we make the next workshop, it could be easy to find more people? Yeah, I think yes, because also there's a, in PB, there's another batch that is coming, so it's more people that will be really interested. 
in so these kind of you, workshops. What did you learn here today? Well, I think that uh, some like some of the structures are really easy to build. For example, for the balconies, like this kind of a structure, uh, I thought it was really more difficult, but it's super easy. Also, the the differences with that one, it's really good, and it's a really it's really a really good structure that you can build yourself. Did you have any practical workshops in your university? Uh, no, like this one. Uh, we had like, for example, uh, like that. Like that system that we have in that, uh, we have s a smaller one, uh, but it was not like that big with the panels and with the battery. So it was a good fit. We have a good feedback with all of that. So you recommend? Yeah, of course. To come again? Yeah, of course, of course. Highly recommended. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thanks to you, Professor. I'm trying fixing solar panel. Most of them are, uh, are for balcony, and it's so interesting. So, uh, where are your colleagues coming from? From which countries? Uh, me and my friend come from Iran, and some of them are from Germany, Brazil, and I'm not sure about others. <laughs> and you study water technology or integrated water resource management. Now you're on the solar workshop. Do uh, uh, you think that fits to you? Uh, it's not related to my major, but it was interesting for me because I hadn't any information about solar panels and in ver it's very common in Germany because of that I came here.